my lovely patrons for this month's tutorial chose the flower shop so we are gonna create this little scene I started by looking at different photos on Pinterest and chose some elements I want to include in this drawing so let's start by sketching and if you don't want to sketch it by yourself then you can get the line art drawing by becoming my patreon or in my coffee shop the links will be in the description I am using cold press 300 gsm watercolor paper a5 size I am starting by positioning the window first I don't want it to be too big so I left a lot of space from the sides where I can put flowers all around it also on top of the window I will put the shop sign I will put there in case flowers but you can put your dream store name and at the bottom I am first putting the ground line where the house ends and the ground starts and then a bit higher I draw a line where the window will start so these are the things I draw with ruler to get everything precise and then it will be time to sketch flowers I will start sketching from the background layer so all the things that will be more in the background the first will be the window I added a window sill also I want there to be flowers so I draw a long pot and the loose shape for the flowers the next will be the window frame I just draw on the inside the same lines as I drew with the ruler if you want these to be precise you can also draw them with the ruler and measure from each side to get them very even and then I add some hanging plants inside the window and for the scene to look more interesting I try to draw them at different height and I also add some lines for the fairy lights now to the outside flowers I'm gonna put a very big pot on the left side and I want to draw a lemon tree there so I start with the pot then the trunk and at the top I am drawing branches like a wide open fingers on hand and then I add the shape for the tree and those are just loose scribbles and I wanted to cover the shop sign because that will add some interest in the drawing and I also sketch in some lemons next to the lemon tree I want to also add a big plant so I drew a path for that and then added some loose style lines for the leaves and if you don't want later to draw this all with ink but just watercolors then you need to be more precise with your sketching in one of the photos I saw a shelf on the outside of the shop with little succulent plants so I want to include it in my drawing also I start with two vertical lines then add horizontal lines for the shelves and draw little pots on them in another one of the reference photos I saw a little stool with some plants on it and that looked really cute so I wanted to also add that in and I put it in front of the bigger background pots and drew three flower pots on top of it and to add some interest I will draw one plant like a scribbly bushy shape and to the other one I will add tall leaves And then I want to create even more layers so I'm gonna draw a basket we will have flower pots so this will add something interesting and different to the drawing and then I will draw more flower pots in the front and I'm gonna keep in mind to add some bushy shapes and some tall leaves then on the right side I will add a chalkboard so it will even out the balance in the drawing on the left side we will have a tall tree and on the right side this chalkboard sign where we can add some flower menu later and then at the top of the chalkboard I will draw a hanging plant so it will also give some height to the right side and I will draw a wooden box on the ground and on top of and in front some flowers and also I will add a basket on this side to balance the drawing 
I will sketch some random pebbles in the ground and all that's left is to name your shop and then we can start inking. For the ink outlines, there are many options and brands to choose from. I have these three. They all have waterproof or water resistant ink. That's the most important thing if you want to draw over with watercolors. And I will use 0.2 fine liner for this drawing. So choose which brand you like or have access to in your local shops. Let's start drawing. Or if you don't want to ink your drawing, then you can scroll right over to minute 14, where I will start watercoloring. The main thing when I ink is I try not to be super precise. I let the paper guide me, so if the line is a little wonky, I don't lose my sleep over it. And at this point in the drawing, I have decided that my light source will be on the right side. I think it is my go-to side. So all the little ink lines that will be as accents. I will be doing more on the left side of things like pots. If I want the line to be more seen or thicker, then I go over it two or three times. And I start from the foreground, so I don't accidentally draw a full lemon tree pot. But you can see it really, because it's behind the plants. So starting from the foreground will be the safe choice in this case. And I also draw some triangle lines or straight lines on the pots to make them more interesting. The bushy looking plants I draw with scribbly outside lines and then add some bits and bobs inside. I will be drawing flowers with watercolors later. But you can also add them with ink if you want. And the rest you can watch and then I will talk you through the lemon tree inking process.
Okay, so I start with the branches and leave an open end and close it off with a scribbly line. So those are the leaves. Then to make the tree more realistic, I'm also gonna draw some branches poking through the leaves. So it starts at the scribbly line, draw a branch lens and close it off with a scribbly line at the top. And add some lemons. And then the rest of the inking process is pretty easy. Just draw over all the sketch lines and add your shop name at the end. And then I'll go over the watercolors I'll be using and we're gonna start coloring. We are done with the inking part and now to the colors. I'm gonna also read them in the description box. Olive green, sap green, titanium buff, peach, yellow, sepia, raw sienna, geranium red, red ochre, coral, burnt sienna and paints grey. I am always drawing on a dry surface, so first I water down the peach and use it for the walls and the ground. Then I lost some footage, but I also put that peach color in the window and around I put paints grey. If you don't have the peach color, you can mix red and yellow and white to get something similar to that. Or you can use any light color for the background. Then I let the background dry a little and start with details. For the lemons and flowers, I will use the yellow color, but not all of the flowers. I just loosely draw them in and later I will add green. So I used the yellow, coral and red geranium for those bushy looking plants. Then I'll wait for it to dry before adding the green. And if you don't have the coral color, it is like a very light pink. So just mix red with white color and you will get the coral color.
Now we draw sienna, I color the shop signs frame and the window frame and also the wooden box and the stool. Then with burnt amber I draw the shelf with those flowers and I forgot to say I am using synthetic round brush. Also with the same color I will draw the tree trunk. And now to the first layer of green. I am using olive green for the tree and all the bushy plants. I don't try to cover everything, so there are some white highlights. The tall leaves I draw with sap green, that will make the plants look more vibrant if you use different kind of greens. But you can use one shade of green for everything. The smaller leaf plants I will color with different color. So at the bottom I added geranium red and at the top yellow. So this is how we are looking now. For the baskets I am using titanium buff mixed with raw sienna a little. And I also leave some white space for highlights. Also I added this color to the shop signs inside. For the chalkboard I will use sepia and it needs to be dark, so later we can add white text and it shows on top. For some of the flower pots I am using red ochre and I want to add something interesting. So. I thought adding another color. The shade is called mocha, but if you mix red with white and a bit of brown, you could get something similar. Or use just raw sienna or all the pots in one color. And then the first layer for everything will be done and let it dry. Now to the second layer. For all the greenery I am using sap green, so I add depth to the tree in places behind the branches. I want darker tone and then some bits and bobs throughout the leaves, but don't cover everything. Also for the tall leaves I color some parts darker and for the bushy looking plants.
Then I mixed a little bit of paint grey with sap green and went over the third time in some places. To darken the left side of the flower pots, because that is more in the shade, I used raw sienna or burnt amber and mixed a little bit with red ochre. For the basket I am using grau sienna and I draw over the ink lines that goes vertically and horizontally. And also I added a little pop of orange to the lemons and yellow flowers by mixing yellow and red. I add one layer with burnt amber to all the wooden things and also leave a little bit of the first layer showing through. Then I wanted to darken the ground. I used mocha color but choose what color you would like. And for the rocks I use sepia. Now the window. With the paints grey I draw all around the window, then inside with peach and yellow color. And with clean wet brush I smudge them together. Now all that is left is some little details and shadows. In the window I do the shadows with paints grey, so if my light source is at the right side, the shadows will be at the left side. For the shadows on the ground and wall I mixed sepia with peach and watered it down. And I draw shadows from pots also on the left side. And I also add some little dots here and there on the ground with this same color. I also decided to add a bit of yellow on the ground. And the wall looked too empty for me, so with a flat brush and red ochre color I drew random bricks. Then with white jelly roll pen, also you can use white gouache, I added text on the chalkboard and some highlights on flowers and in the window. And that's it, I hope you liked the video, if you have some questions leave them in the comments and if you share your work tag me at Inky Paper House so I can share it and see you next time.